coming to extubation very 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 important as intubation extubation is important you all know when you extubate a patient immediately they start coughing they cough and they bring out infected secretions the, when the tube comes out the first sense thing they want to do is they just cough at you so they cough at you you are going to get in, uh, you are going to get infected be very careful and ppe should be the same as for intubation at least two people should be there when you are going to extubate and uh, a person who can intubate and a staff nurse and both of them should be wearing personal protective equipment tracheal and oral suction as normal before extubation remember tracheal and oral suction as normal before extubation that is also very important do the suctioning appropriately so that this will reduce the chance of them coughing once they come out of the tube and uh, most of the times uh, what i have seen is you most of these patients get extubated after day 12 day 13 day 14 day 16 day 15 so by that time either their viral load is very less or some of them might have even turned covid negative so that being the case they may not be as infectious at that particular time when you're extubating so the chance of but in spite of that you have to take adequate precautions iv lidocaine opioids dexmedetomidin to reduce cough they have been tried in numerous times but there is no any hard data or recommendation as it is and what we do is sometimes we extubate them to a face mask so that is a very tricky thing which you can do you take out the tube and then you extubate them to a face mask immediately so that even if they cough they will cough into the face mask only i'll tell you how to go about and uh, some ca- some cases there are some reports about supraglottic airway being used as a bridge to extubation but i don't think so that is needed that can also induce an element of coughing so just forget about that airway exchanger is contraindicated there is no role for an airway exchange in uh, why this airway exchange problem came was some of them there have been reports that most of the patients who get extubated in covid-19 there is a high incidence of reintubation laryngeal edema etc so do we have to leave a, a exchange catheter inside and take out the tube but again the exchange catheter will definitely produce cough so that is dangerous so customary leak test is not possible so whenever we extubate in other patients what do we do we do the customary leak test to see if there is sufficient leak around the trachea trachea around the endotracheal tube that is not possible here because that will generate aerosols okay so customary leak test is not possible no role for airway exchange catheter and extubating to supraglottic airway is also not an option high incidence of laryngeal edema and reintubation has been observed in covid-19 patients and many of these patients have had difficulty in swallowing and voice changes post extubation because usually what do we do for other patients when they are on the ventilator day 7 day 8 day 9 day 10 we tend to go for a tracheostomy and then pull them out but here we are keeping them on the tube for prolonged duration so this might in turn cause a certain element of uh, laryngeal edema vocal cord edema etc etc so this can all create uh, post extubation dysphagia and uh, dysphenia these are all things which we have uh, uh, realized that okay and as i told you this is how we extubate a patient out onto a face mask you can see in picture c slowly as the, as the endotracheal tube is being removed uh, what do we do there we place the face mask with the viral filter on top of that so that when he coughs nothing will come out and create problems for that even at the time we are wearing face uh, pp etc at the time of extubation most likely patient may not be infectious also in spite of that please treat them as you do for a covid-19 intubation whatever precaution you take when you are intubating you have to take when you are extubating uh, so this is a picture which clearly i'll show you another picture so this is how we go about uh, extubating so this is how we extubated a patient we also have put a sheet over this a beautiful sheet over that so that if at all he coughs beyond that also it will never spatter out and come out so after that you can ask your housekeeping to safely dispose of all these things but remember give some time give some time 10 to 20 minutes after any procedure 